Hey there, before we start the video, I just wanted to let you know that if you see anything in this video that you really like, you can go to MetallicaMom.com, Google it, type it in, whatever you need to do, and then once you get to MetallicaMom.com, if you don't see what you're looking for, all you have to do is hit that little button on the bottom right corner, and you could chat directly with me. Anything that you type in there, it goes right to my cell phone. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Okay. I just did what I hate. Which is, I turned on the camera and then I moved it. Can't stand that. And the neighbors are noisy. I'm going to try not to bounce on the table because it's, um, it's going to make the whole camera go. I just put a, a shit ton of moisturizer on my face and my son just woke up. This is going to be a very fast video because I have the three um, bars that came in my SFR kit, um, my SFR virtual kit. Um, and I did warm all three of them. And... Um, I have impressions. Okay, so I warmed five cubes of each. One of them I did five cubes in the same room, and another one I tried this in a couple of different rooms, and I had a feeling it wasn't going to work, and it wasn't going to work, so let's just talk about it. It's called Velvet Moon, which sounds like anime, um, and I was hoping to love this when I read... I, don't, I had not read any of the descriptions, but as soon as I saw the title, I was like, ooh, Velvet Moon, that sounds like it's going to be nice. And it's kind of useless, in my opinion. Mouse is also going to using the litter box right now. Great. Things going to jump up on my counter. Watch. Velvet Moon is described as soft vanilla flower and white musk glow behind a silky layer of foggy mist. What does foggy mist smell like? Who knows? Vanilla flower. I don't know. There's vanilla in there. White musk. It smells baby powder-ish. Wow, my hair just smells like shit. I, I, Self-deprived deprecating <sighs> tried this in my son's room because I gave him all three and I said try uh, smell these and which one do you want in your room his room is very small two cubes did nothing nothing so then I put three cubes in my bathroom which is an even smaller room and nothing I mean just the slightest tint of baby powder that's all I got I have a feeling that this is not going to be purchased by me again although I did purchase the whole season scent kit which is basically all 10 1 2 3 4 5 to 10 bars and they did not give us any deal on it it was $60 for 10 bars so would it have been cheaper to wait for the catalog to go live than then bundle and save yes but I want all of them to test even though I already had three so I really bought overpriced bars and I'm only really trying it out for seven Whatever. Anyway, this is what we do as Sensi Consultants. <laughs> do not spend family money on Sensi. Anyway, and I don't. I make enough money with Sensi that I can use Sensi money on Sensi. And then I have another job. Anyway. Um, we will go to the next tier. So it was three, two, and then one. Okay. This one is called Black Current and Plum. Dark plum and white black, no, sorry, dark plum and wild black currant. It would have been interesting if it was white black currant, right? Like a black and white cookie. Let's start over. Dark plum and wild black currant. Embolden, I love the word embolden. I wish there was a way to do like a word search in all of the catalogs to see how many times they use the word embolden. I have never used the word embolden in my regular like vernacular. Let's start again. Dark plum and wild black currant embolden sweet apple for a temptation you won't want to resist. There's apple in here. Not a lot, though. There's currant and there's plum. I love plum. This was good, but I really wanted it to be stronger. This did not make a huge impression in my living room. I did like it. Reminded me of black raspberry vanilla, okay? I wish there was a little bit more apple. I wish it was a little meatier. It's not meaty enough for me. Not bad, though. That might be good with room spray in the cat litter box for the poo-poos. Okay. And then Perfect Day was the, my favorite. I'm going to blot because um, I just put the, the moisturizer on my face. And before it sets in, it has a tendency to make me, like, sweat through it. You guys probably have the same issue. Maybe you don't. I don't know. Uh, just so you know, I still use the Vanica on my face. I've been using Vanica on my face for about 12 years. Um, and it is a cream that it's a prescription cream that you put on your face before you use your moisturizer and it prohibits it inhibits it emboldens no it inhibits hair growth uh the bad hair growth 
Um, so I make sure that I only put it on from like the nose down because I want to make sure that I salvage whatever few little eyebrows that I have left. Um, and it really does because I normally have like wolf peach fuzz, like long white hair that grows here like this and a little bit of a stashy stash, which I, I still get a little bit of a stashy stash. And I still have to um, tweeze, we don't pluck, we pluck a chicken, we tweeze our face. Tw I still have to tweeze a couple of little, you know, straggle those thick black hairs that are like a tree trunk, but it helps, okay? And it doesn't make me break out and it, it actually softens, it smooths my pores too. I very, I very rarely can you see pores like from here down. I wish I could use it closer to my eyes, but then I'll lose my eyebrows. No, we don't want that. Perfect day. Uh, autumn pear mixed with spiced syrup and a sprinted splash of bourbon. And yeah, okay, so when you're just smelling this, I have, there is a fuzz or a cat hair or something. It's bothering me. When you just smell this in the clamshell, all you smell is pear, honestly. And, and you can, I will put in a, a little link for the video that I made when I was smelling this for the first time. All you smell is pear me all i smell is pear let me not make judgments for you when you warm it it really turns into an autumnal thick fragrance unlike this this is meaty this turns into a very fall like almost christmasy vibe not christmasy like christmas tree it's the bourbon i thought it was cinnamon that i was smelling but then when i read the description i was like mm, yeah it's bourbon and it's nice and it's pretty damn strong. So out of these three, I would say that this is definitely the most fall and winter, okay? Out of all of, so far that I've smelled, this is the most fall and winter, and this is also my favorite. I'm more into the fall and winter fragrances in general than I am with the spring and summer stuff, although I do love the, the flowery, fruity stuff. I'm not into the bakery and stuff like that, and thank God they didn't really give us any bakery for these three. I'm really not looking forward to the cram the cran apple crumble. I think that I'm not gonna like that at all. Uh, and sips of cider, I don't think I'm gonna like that at all. But anyway, you don't have to worry about that because you can't get it yet. You can't get these yet either unless you're a Sensi Consultant and like 90% of my audience is a Sensi Consultant, so whatever. Uh, here is my impression of the SFR giveaway bars. I do have, I am building a uh, little review list of these puppies, which are not available to the public until July 25th. I love the fact that Scentsy has started to offer up these little uh, limited time collections to Scentsy consultants like three or four weeks in advance. It's really nice. Thank you very much because the shipping time is ridiculous. So if we get it at the same time that you guys get it, then we don't have time to review it and sort of sell it, share it, give you our reviews. These are going to be like you can buy the set for a little bit of a, a discount, but then you could also just put them into a regular bundle. I'm going to be telling you to put this into a regular bundle because the whole collection is not great, but there's one. I'm glad I bought two of the bundles because I've, I've already broken into the second one. Anyway, this one was pretty good. Just a little teaser. Star Apple Freesia. My husband walked in last night after I had put it in the warmers about two or three hours beforehand. And he was like, wow, it really smells like Scentsy in here and good Scentsy. But I had also made fajitas. So it's sort of mixed in with the fajita. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. Bye.